Hello everybody and welcome to another video about Blissful Techno Health. Hey, check it out. Today I'm going to easily show you how to make a mapped drive that you can map on another computer to access files over the network. Alright, this is super easy. It's just like sharing a file folder but giving it a drive letter. Alright, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is I'm going to the first thing you need to do when you're going to map a drive is you need to know why you're mapping the drive. What information are you wanting to map to another computer from a computer? Okay, so you're just sharing information on a network. That's all you're doing. So I'm going to use this folder here. I created in a previous video called Test Folder. All right, I already have this shared on a network. If you want to know how to share, uh, a folder on a network and you don't know how then watch the video here all right I just you see the link up here floating around at the top or whatever that card I put on my YouTube video for you but once you get that folder shared and you want it to be mapped instead of just accessing it through uh, the network in the traditional way this is how you do it so you got to find your location first we know what information we're gonna share with a mapped drive typically it's it's uh, going to be something like QuickBooks. If you're opening QuickBooks folders or company files over the network, then you want to map a drive letter so you can open that company file from another computer on the network. So super easy. I'll quit blabbing at you and get to the point. So on the computer that you want to access the information on, you just have to know the network location. Okay, so that network path. I know the information I want. Because if I get on my network, I can see here that here's my test folder. Okay, I accessed it over the network. I can just grab that location. I want to copy it, put it in my clipboard. Follow me. So know the location over the network you want. Get the location up here. Put it in your clipboard. And now we're just going to hop over to this PC. If you're using Windows 10, it's called this PC. Okay. If you're using Windows 7, then it's going to be called computer. All right, Windows 8 is also going to call it this PC, but those are basically the same thing. So let's pop over to my Windows 10 computer over here. Okay, and now we're going to click on Map Network Drive. I've got that in my clipboard, and we can give it whatever drive letter we want that's available. I'm just going to use Z because that's what it defaulted to, and I don't really care what the drive letter is. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that location. Reconnect to sign in. Typically, yes, you want to do that. Connect using different credentials. We're not going to bother with that. All right. Boom. There it is. There's my nat mapped network drive letter. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's pop over to File Explorer. Hop over to this PC. Bam. I've got a drive letter assigned to that location now. A mapped folder. A mapped drive. Whatever you want to call it. And now I can get straight to that information easily. All right. So why would you want to do this? Like I was saying, some programs like QuickBooks are going to want a going to work better using a drive letter so that you can specifically tell it where to go. Now, one little tidbit I'm going to give you, all right? When you're doing lo your location, I just copy and pasted Alex PC to hit this test folder. Okay? A lot of times when you're using a mapped network drive, especially if you're on a domain or something, it's better to use an IP address instead of the computer name. What do I mean by that? Let me show you really quick. So let's say I want to map a network drive. I know the IP address of the computer I want to share, or of the uh, location I want to share. I forgot what it is. Give me a second. 96. So I'm going to punch that in instead of the computer name. Okay, now you can see it's using the IP address instead of the computer name. That way if DNS breaks or if something bad happens where the Windows is just stupid and can't find the location, it's a lot more stable to run it with an IP address. That way you're not bothering with that layer and it just hits it directly. Okay, and it gives you the same results. So how can we tell? Let's go to this PC. You can see I have a Y with that same location but I'm using the IP address instead of the computer name. Hey, that's all there is to it you guys. That's how you create a mapped drive in 
any version of Windows. So, hope you liked this video. I hope it was short and brief enough and to the point for you. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. You don't want to miss out on future content. So, it, also if you have questions, feel free to shoot me a comment down below if you can't get the, the drive to map properly or whatever. And I'll do the best I can to help you out. Thanks guys. Peace out. Have a good night.